It, man, you ain't no Superman. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, checking out MarvelousNews.com and seeing that Hasbro has released official images for some new Deadpool products. Now, as you may have judged by the thumbnail, there are new Marvel Legends, but first, I just wanted to share uh, some of these cosplay or role playing items that they have coming out because these are for adults, so they're ages 14 and up. And this mask right here is meant to fit an adult sized noggin, so you can pick this up and rock the Deadpool attire or the Deadpool mask mask anyway and there's also this set of katanas these are retailing for 20 bucks and the mask is only 10 bucks so yeah we get some nice looking deadpool katanas i might want to get these i wonder if they're going to make sounds it doesn't look like they're making sounds but they do look cool and then we are also getting a 12 inch deadpool which does look pretty cool a little bit better than some of the other ones i think if you're into those yep you could snag one of those doesn't look too bad but i for myself am mostly into the marvel legends and we're getting this version of deadpool over here that i believe is the same version where he has Deadpool written across the back. This is an X-Men Deadpool figure and it looks really cool. I believe this is the X-Men Deadpool that we've gotten from the Daniel Way run, thus the Deadpool written on the back, which we can't see right here because we only get this front view of this Deadpool figure, but I'm excited for this. I didn't expect to see this, but I'm stoked for it at the same time. I thought it would have been a movie Deadpool because Keep in mind, these are not the Deadpool Wave 1 figures that we're seeing over here. These are Deadpool Wave 2. The Deadpool Wave 1 is just popping up at Toys R Us all over the place. I don't have a set of those figures, but I've been seeing people uh, throwing up, you know, real quick reviews on those. We get some nice looking Deadco deco with that Deadpool. And it looks like we're seeing the same head sculpt that we're seeing from the Deadpool Wave 1. It looks like it to me anyway. I don't, again, I don't have that figure in hand. Also, we're going to get a Lady Deadpool figure, which is really cool. I'm I'm kind of stoked for that. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, man. I, I mean, I, I'm seeing a lot of reused parts over here, and amongst these reused parts uh, are single jointed elbows. I mean, some people get upset at me mentioning that, but the fact is, is that we're getting way too many single jointed elbows and not enough double jointed elbows on the female figures, and there's no bicep swiveler over there as well. So, no upgrades yet as far as articulation goes, and this is like the farthest out figures that we're seeing from Hasbro, so it just looks like it's probably never going to happen with the double jointed elbows. Ay, jeez. And then lastly, the thing I'm extremely excited for, but at the same time a little bit concerned about, is Omega Red. Now, I've known for a while that we're going to get a new Omega Red from Hasbro, but I've never seen an image that looked quite as detailed as this, and it looks incredible. I'm really stoked for this. However, I will say, at this very moment, I am not seeing any little holes or anything in those tentacles. It doesn't look like we're getting bendy tentacles, and it looks like this left one is pre-posed so it could wrap around on someone's neck and then that's about it so I highly doubt these are going to be bendy tentacles which really scares me because I know we're getting a Doc Ock and that guy has tendrils or tentacles that are similar to this and it looks like so based off of this right here I'm getting the feeling that we're not gonna get bendy wire uh, tentacles for Doc Ock we did get them for Machine Man I just don't know why they're not doing it for these figures right here right and that right sides all a little itty bitty and short now if they came with a bunch of multiple tendrils that you could swap out that would be be cool you know that that would make up for the lack of bendy wire i would prefer bendy wire but still uh, ho hopefully we get interchangeable tendril parts right there i'm loving the face sculpt by the way though i love how that came out so i'm really excited for that omega red figure i can't really tell exactly which body mold they're using right here it does look like a newer body mold but i don't want to say because i don't want a mountain of comments saying like yes, 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 no starter mask you should have known better it's not the name or body which i could tell it kind of does look like the Namor body though so I'm guessing it is the Namor body but I could very well be wrong but anyway I'm curious to know what you're most excited for these are just the first three figures from this wave that we've heard of uh, we will learn more at New York Toy Fair and I will be over there in New York Toy Fair in February also I wanted to take a guess at what would be the build-a-figure for this wave I'm curious to know what you guys think would be the build-a-figure for it would it be like a movie Colossus figure could it possibly be that it looks like we're not getting any movie figures from Fox anyway Anyway, so that, that, that should be out of the question but yeah I'm kind of curious with what they're gonna go with it might be something very random like Shuma Gorath or something like my vote is actually for a strong guy I don't know you guys but I'm curious to know what you think 
would the, uh, the, the build a figure be for this Deadpool Wave 2 wave? I did not see, Sa I had no idea Sasquatch would be the build a figure for the Wave 1. So uh, I'm really curious to see what they give us over here. I want to know your thoughts. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this news update video. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will catch you. Oh, don't forget the Legendary Collector t shirts. Got to plug those because I just got those in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, help out the channel. Pick up a t shirt, collect with pride, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.